Ovulation is the release of an egg from the ovary and it's cyclical in nature. And it's caused by hormone changes that happen in a woman's body. And if a woman's hormone levels are off or there's underlying conditions that may affect hormone levels, then it can affect a woman's cycles. Generally speaking though, if things are going as they should, ovulation usually happens 12 to 16 days before the woman's next period is going to start. And so ultimately the time at which a woman ovulates is largely dependent on the cycle length. And a normal cycle length is anywhere from 25 to 35 days from the beginning of one period to the beginning of the next. So if a woman has 34 days long cycles, then she's probably going to ovulate somewhere around days 17 to 22. But if her cycles are only like 26 days long, then she's probably going to ovulate somewhere around day 10 to 14. And this will, of course, will be closer to the last day of her last period. It's normal for a woman's cycle length to vary slightly from month to month. And so if your cycles are 27 days one month and then 29 the next, 30 the next, and then 28, that's okay. But it may change slightly when you ovulate. So if you're trying to conceive, the best thing you can do is start having intercourse at the most every day, starting on the day your period ends and continuing with this until a few days past the midpoint of your cycle. And this will, this will compensate for ovulation happening a little bit sooner than expected or a little bit later than the norm and hopefully help you to time things just right and give you a chance at conceiving. Do keep in mind that even when things are timed just right, the best chance of conceiving is only 30 to 35%. There's so many other factors that go into pregnancy actually happening, but this is one that's in your control is timing intercourse with ovulation. But because it's not 100% sure that when you time things right, pregnancy will happen, it usually takes most couples up to six months. And so if you've only been trying for a few months, don't get discouraged. Keep trying to time things right and it should happen with time. Now, if your cycles are shorter than 25 days or if they're longer than 35 days, then um, it's hard to know when or even if you're ovulating. And so talk with your doctor about that. Also talk with them if you've gone three months or more without a period and pregnancy has been ruled out as, out as a cause. And so based on their knowledge of your history and ability to ask you more specific questions, they'll be able to give you tailored information and advice about whether further investigation or intervention is warranted in order to help you have a baby. Good luck with everything. And if you have more questions in the future for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.